Notes. I am responsible for the Interact Academy. Today we will show you how to install a lug body type butterfly valve into a piping system. For this there are some several things to be considered that are basically important. First you need to make sure that the pipe is well aligned. Then you should ensure that the gap between the flanges is wide enough to be able to insert the valve without force, otherwise you could dislodge the liner from the body. If the gap is not wide enough, you need to use a spreader. You should make sure that the disc is in a slightly open position, but so that the edge of the disc is not appearing out of the valve body, otherwise you might risk to damage the edge of the disc when you install it between the flanges. You should never use additional gaskets. You should not use grease except the grease you need on the screws of the flanges. And in general, please refer to the installation instruction regarding the length and the number of screws that you will need to install the valve depending on the flange standard you are using. Um, the face-to-face -face dimension of a rubber line butterfly valve is the edge of the body, so this line here, whereas on a PTFE lined butterfly valve, the face-to-face -face dimension is the flange surface of the line that you see here. These were the basics, and now we will start installing the lock valve between the flanges. Now we install the lock body type between flanges. To center properly the valve, we insert first the upper screws on one side. And then the other side. Now the valve is already quite well centered and now we start inserting the screws on the bottom. It is very important to make sure that the length of the screws is according to the documentation, otherwise they might touch in the middle and then they risk to break the ear of the body apart. If they are too short, there is a risk that they rip off the threads. Now we start tightening the, the flange screws uh, on crosswise. It is important to consider the torque tables from the screw supplier when assembling the valve between flanges. If you tighten them too much, there is a risk to elongate the screws. This is important on a rubber line butterfly valve. On a Teflon line butterfly valve, you should consider the tightening torque table that you find in our installation documentation over the Bianca. There you see clearly how much torque you can apply to tighten the screws. If you use too much torque, you will deform the liner of the Teflon and butterfly valve. It is important to tighten the flange screws until the body flanging surface touches the flange surface. Only then we can be sure that the valve is tight at the flanges. Now the flange screws are properly tightened all around and the installation of this lock valve is finished. Thank you for watching this video of the Interrupt Academy. I hope it was helpful.